Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Movie Monster series Mothra Larvae. Now, this version of Mothra is actually Mothra's first form. Uh, she starts off as this caterpillar form, but then she evolves into the butterfly form that we all know. And this version of Mothra Larvae comes from the 2003 film Godzilla Tokyo SOS, which I think is a very good movie. Um, I don't like it as much as Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, but I still think that Godzilla Tokyo SOS is a very good movie. So, yeah, if you haven't seen Godzilla Tokyo SOS, definitely check it out because it is a really good movie. But before we take a look at the figure itself, let's take a quick look at the tag she comes with. And this actually came as a surprise to me. This isn't Mothra from Godzilla Tokyo SOS. This is Mothra from Godzilla vs. Mothra Battle for Earth, which I wouldn't mind so much. But, you know, these versions of Mothra Larvae are from two different movies, which, again, is one thing that I really don't like, but whatever. But anyway, this is a screenshot from Godzilla vs. Mothra Battle for Earth right here, as she's about to go into her cocoon and evolve into, you know, Imago Mothra. But, yeah. Anyway, it still looks nice. You know, it's not Godzilla Tokyo SOS Mothra, but, again, looks nice. But, Yeah. We have Mothra right here, Godzilla 2018. On the back, we have her back, Movie Monster Series, and Bandai. And on the inside, we just have some Japanese writing with the Mothra emblem. So, yeah. Now for the figure itself, and we're just going to start off with the painting on this figure. And the painting on this figure is actually very good, I'm not going to lie. So, most of the figure is a brownish color, but the eyes here are painted blue. It's actually a metallic blue, which is actually accurate to the movie. The tusks here are actually a brighter shade of brown than the rest of the body. And we do have a dark streak going down the body right here, which, again, looks nice. Underneath, it's just a darker shade of brown. So, yeah. And that's pretty much it for the painting on this figure. Not a lot, but the painting that is here still looks very nice. So the paint gets a pass. Now take a look at the articulation. And for this being a caterpillar, there's actually one bit of articulation, which is basically this. Which is really surprising to me. I didn't expect there to be any articulation, but there is. So, yeah, I actually really like that. So, the articulation here gets a pass and a half. Again, for a Bandai, create, or Bandai Movie Monster Series figure, there's not a lot in terms of articulation. In fact, there's just one joint, but this is Mothra Larvae, so... Yeah, that can be forgiven, but yeah. The articulation gets a pass and a half. Now I'll take a look at the sculpt, and the sculpting on this figure is actually a one-to-one -one with how she looked in Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Not so much Godzilla vs. Mothra Battle for Earth, but in Godzilla Tokyo SOS, this looks very accurate, so yeah. Nothing really, you know, too big to point out in terms of sculpt here, it's just Mothra larvae, so yeah. So... The sculpting here looks very nice. Not a lot in terms of sculpt, but again, looks nice. So the sculpting on this figure gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the detailing. And the detailing on this figure, again, is pretty good. So the detailing on her face looks very nice. All the creases and all the cracks on her head right there. Everything here looks very nice. And even her mouth looks very nice as well. And we do have some creasing going along the body all the way to the end. With some minor bits of detailing here, which, again, look very nice. And the end of the tail here is detailed very nicely as well. Also, the underside, again, looks very nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the detailing. Not a lot, but the detailing is here. It looks very good, so yeah. Anyway, the detailing gets a pass, and at the end of the day, should you get this, I'd say yeah. Um, this figure is actually like 15 bucks on Amazon, which really isn't bad for a Bandai Movie and Monster Series figure. Usually they're about like 20 or 25 dollars, or I've even seen 40. But yeah, 15 bucks for this really isn't bad. So yeah, especially because you know that's the cheapest Mothra larvae figure that there is. So yeah, I'd say the price on this figure is pretty fair, and this is actually a very nice figure overall. So yeah. Anyway, if you want to know how big she is, here she is next to Dr. Billy Grant. Alright, now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.